A joint police operation across five countries has targeted an organised crime network accused of smuggling up to 10,000 people into the UK on small boats. We can find out more. Our home and security editor, Mark White, joins us now. Mark, how significant a blow is this to illegal immigration, people smuggling across the channel? Well, there's no doubt this is a very significant uh, blow to those involved in people smuggling. This particular network, according to officials from the National Crime Agency and uh, partner agencies across Europe, including Europol, was responsible, they claim, for the smuggling of some 10,000 people across the English Channel in small boats in recent months. Now, there were a number of arrests that took place uh, in London, that was coordinated by the National Crime Agency. Six people taken into custody in the UK. Now, in addition to this, we had raids and arrests that took place across Europe, in France, in Germany, in the Netherlands and in Belgium. Fifty separate locations that were raided and searched. In total, 39 people have been taken into custody and among them were told three high-value targets. Uh, in addition to that, of course, they have also recovered, they say, a significant quantities of materials that were used in the smuggling operation, including some 1,200 life jackets, 150 small boats, 50 uh, outboard motors, uh, all now seized by authorities as they continue their investigation. It followed the arrest uh, earlier this year of a man described as a kingpin and an Iranian national who was living in the UK. We've been hearing from Chris Farmond, who is from the National Crime Agency, about the significance of this network and exactly what he believes they were up to. This group was responsible for um, sourcing small boats. And when I say small boats, actually they're getting bigger. They can take between 50 and 60 people. They were sourcing them from Turkey, bringing them forward and storing them in Germany uh, in, in warehouse type facilities. And then they were calling them forward to France um, through Belgium or the Netherlands in order to supply the, the, the traffickers on the beach who would then load them in the boats and uh, send them off in the direction of the UK. I think there is no doubt that this will have an impact on the numbers coming across the channel in the short term, at least, because the supply of many of the boats that they use has been significantly disrupted. However, going forward, it's a very lucrative business. There are other criminal networks waiting in the wings to take up uh, what is a business worth many millions of pounds each week. Mark, thank you very much, our home and security editor.